I'm back out here with George. George, the first time I talked to you was three weeks ago. What's new? What's been happening with you since then? Oh, just nothing. I just been the same thing. You know, just out there homeless. You know, struggling. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, not necessarily like struggle, struggle, but like, yeah, you know. But like, it's getting hotter. So I'm back out here with George. So George, uh, your real name is Marlon, but uh, you told me your name was George. I met you about, I'd say about 15 months ago, a little bit over a year. You're out in the streets, lost, confused, uh, using blues. Uh, but today you reached out to me, said, hey, I'm, I've been clean for a while now because uh, I got locked up and I completed a program. You look different. You look like a whole different person, man. You know, I, I, I probably wouldn't be able to recognize you. You've gained weight, healthy weight. You look good. You're clean. Uh, you're living with your dad. Uh, how did you get clean? Um, I got clean because um, I got locked up. You know, I went, I went to jail, Maricopa County, and I was in there for two months. My lawyer got me out. She said, um, I have to do a program for three months. And if I don't do that program, I go to prison for three years. So, you know, I ain't stupid, so I did the program. And as I, as I was in jail, I was, I kept praying to the Lord. You know, I'm like, I'm sick and tired of this life. Like, I just finally hit me. I'm like, oh, I, I, I don't want to do this, you know. I, I got to I gotta get right. I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I prayed. And then he got me out. I got in the program, and I, I, I've learned, like I'm learning, life skills, life and life's how to deal with life and life's terms. I'm, um, I'm focused and motivated, open-minded, humble. I, um, I pray, I pray to the Lord to help me out with these things. And um, I just graduated the program, uh, just last week. And I um I just I just didn't like being out there in the heat. I don't like doing those drugs. I just wanna change. I really want change. I don't even feel urges like how I feel urges like I used to before. Like I went to the other program. I was talking about another video I got into with my deal. <clears throat> and I really wanted I really wanna change that time too. I really wanna change. And you know, I was doing what I had to do, it was you know, to do what I want to do, you know. And the next thing you know, like, I got into it. I was, I wasn't, I didn't know what I didn't, I didn't know what I knew in this program that I just graduated. You know, to, to fight against those thoughts, to keep moving forward. And I just let it get to me and I left. And then those urges, I was on the bus leaving that program, those urges were, like hitting me and I was weak and then I just went too using. But this time I went to the, this new program and then now the urges that I have, I was like, dang, I fight against those, I deal with it. I know how to um, get get out of those um, urges to not go back to that life and it works. It really works. And I just, I use the ABC of emotion. I graduated from the Ebony House. You know, this must take it right here. And I, um, I'm just really happy that you now I'm moving forward. We're going to drop pretty soon. I'm, a, I'm on probation right now. I'm going to succeed on that. I'm going to get done with that. And just shout out to Johan and Mr. Angel for helping me out. And um, I just want everybody to know that, you know, change can happen. You guys can do it too. Because I, I, if I can do it, you, can, you guys can do it too. You just got to want it. And what left, stuck with me the most in this program that I left from is I got to do what I have to do to do what I want to do and have self-positive self -positive talk, you know, because the world out here is hard, you know. Change ain't easy, but if you want it, it can be. And, yeah. You asked me while you were on the streets, you asked me uh, 
about Migs and Carla because you know them yeah. from being out in the streets, right? Uh, do you think this program or uh, getting clean is possible for a Migs, for a Carla, for anybody that, that's out there? Yes, it is. Because the discipline they go through and the things they tell them, everything that I've learned, I feel is teachable for everybody else because like they 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 just they, they discipline you know they, so they teach you with a lot of you know, tools you need for life and how to overcome this addiction and I just I just know everybody can do it um, I watch you I watch you, your videos I see everybody up there and it's just like man like you know, I pray for them so they can get the help they need. You know, one day they'll turn it around, and one day they're gonna want that change, like I do. And you know, it's just, it just, it just, it hurts. And uh, but my mom, I um, I'm really sad. You know, depressed. And there's this one, there's this one thing they do. The program's called Man in the Mirror. It's when you apologize to everyone you've hurt. You make amends to everybody you hurt and things like that. And I had to let it out. I had to let it out, my depression with my mom, you know, to move forward, to not stay stuck and to keep going down the spiral path that I kept going down. And it worked. I let it out. I cried. I bawled tears. And now, you know, I'm sad. I'm sad my mom's passed, but it wasn't as strong as it was before for me to go back to using. So I'm just grateful that this program, you know, bless me with the courage and the strength and, and the, the open mind that I have to move forward because I'm just, I don't feel like going back to that life. How does your family, how are they reacting to getting you back? Because you sound different, you look different, you're talking like a whole brand new person. How does your fa father feel? I just saw, I just met him. Uh, you have a sister, you have cousins. I think your cousin sent me a picture of you clean about, I don't know, a month ago. Uh, how do they all feel about this version of you? They're really happy. They're really grateful that they, the Lord answered their prayers to put me where I'm at right now because they are, I'm their little brother, their baby brother. They don't want to see me out there like that, going through the harsh times and hard struggle, you know. And it's just cool because... Um, we, we are. They were just worried. Now they're let. They have less worry on their back to see the little brother um, making it and doing it, and they don't have to um, go out looking for me like they always do. They don't have to. Um, they don't have to be scared. Like, oh man, what if my brother does? What if this happens to him? This and that. You know, they know I'm in a safe place. They know I'm moving forward. And I'm doing things in my life. For the people that I interview, that you you, you, you watch their videos, what do they need to do? Because uh, one of the last questions I asked you in the last video about six months ago when you were out in the streets, I asked you, what do you need to do? What steps do you need to take to get out of here, right? To get clean, to live yeah. a better life, right? What do they need to do? What do they need to do? They need what I what I feel they need to do is they really gotta want change. Really gotta they really gotta um, look at their lives and see if this is really what they want to move forward because they can't move forward if they just keep you know they keep doing what they're doing because there ain't nothing good. You know, Scotty is just. We, Scotty's the devil. That's what we used to call him. In the, in the, what we call him in the program. You know, the devil. He's just, you know, he's pulling people into the trenches. He's not pulling them out. They're just, you know, um, he's just, he's making them feel like it's, um, it's a good thing to do what they're doing. He's not showing them that it's bad for, for them to keep going down that path because it's not, it's not good. So they just gotta, they just gotta um, pray to God. They gotta, uh, they gotta be humble. 
and they gotta be open minded, you know. They gotta look for change and want change. And um Yeah. I met you as George. George doesn't exist anymore. That's a whole different person. He did he's gone. It's Marlon. Yeah. Clean, looking good, sounding good. You've embraced, you know, God. You've embraced your family. You've embraced a better way of living, the life that you deserve. Uh, I'm proud of you. You've always seemed like a very gentle soul, like a very nice kid, right? Uh, and here it is. Here you are, Marlon. I'm very proud of you. I just want you to know that, okay? Uh, it's not. I've interviewed a thousand people in three and a half years. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of Marlins, right? I can count them, I can count success stories on one hand, unfortunately, right? So uh, I want you to know that I'm extremely proud of you. I'm sure your father, your sister, your, your family, you know who is your biggest cheerleader right now? Your mom. She's looking down on you right now, man, and she's extremely proud of you, okay? So congratulations, Thank your you. hard work everything you've done those three months in that program i'm sure it wasn't easy that man in the mirror that's i've heard about that before that's not easy because you got to get down on your knees and say god i'm i'm done with this right yeah. you have to let it all out right mm -hmm. all everything out and you sound like you're you're excited for the next chapter in your life man right yeah Oh, like a job, uh, your own place, a car, and, and the American American dream, man. Um, thank you very much for calling me. Let's stay in touch, okay? Uh, you, you've you communicated to me. Uh, here we are, a uh, little reunion, me and you, and this is going to help other people out there. Damn, recovery is possible, right? Because they're going to look at the George videos, and they're gonna look at this Marlin video. Two different people, you know? There's hope and recovery. You just have to want it. You wanted it, you're done with it. You're sick of that life, right? You're just yeah. absolutely sick of it. The, the places I've interviewed you, you know, the few times I interviewed you, they're still there, those people. They're still out there. I just talked to Migs today. He's still out there. He went through a program. He didn't want it. He really didn't want it. He was doing the program because he was forced to do it, just the way you were forced to do it. But somewhere along the line, Marlon came out and said, you know what, I really do want this. I don't want to go back. Um, let's stay in contact, okay? Let's stay, let's keep talking, let's keep looking at your progress, and, 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 and uh, I'm so glad that you made it, okay? I'm, I'm extremely proud that you made it. Um, any last words for uh, yeah. the people out there? I uh, just want you guys to know that you guys can do it. Don't give up. And if you if you're in a program or you get forced in a program, just look at it like a blessing. Look at it and look look at it like okay, I'm here in this program. Like you're sober and you're clean, and you're in that mindset where you can know if it's good for you to keep moving forward. Look at look at your past and see, do you really want that? Look at now and be like, man. I can, if I get right, I can do so much with my life. I can get a job, I can get a house, I can get a car, I can do so much things. You know, I really want that. Keep talking about that. Self-positive talk to yourself. Tell yourself you can do it, want change. Put effort in change. Put effort in what you do in life to, about change. Don't give up on your life, because it, it matters. You mean something. A lot of, don't think, a lot of people don't care about you. A lot of people care about you. You know, work the 12 steps, you know, be strong-minded, open-minded. Don't give up because giving up is you letting the devil win. Don't let him win. Keep moving to the righteous side and the right side. Jesus Christ, he's, he, he'll help you. He's always there for you. No matter, if you don't think he's there for you, he, he's there for you. No matter what, Jesus Christ is there for you. Keep praying to him. He'll answer your prayers. He'll show you the way. He'll show you. If you want change, he's going he's gonna to guide you the right way you need. Just be strong, motivated, keep pushing, don't give up. Cause that's what the devil wants. And with that I pass. Hey man, brother. Thank you very much, Marlon. We'll talk soon, okay? Okay.